So recently, the New York Metropolitan Museum of Art. Oh, sorry, that's the old script. In 2017, the Met Museum made like 400,000 arts public domain. And since making anything on YouTube now is like being banished to a wilderness called the public domain. We're going to make a big song and dance about looking at them and see if they're any good. A tusk figurine of a man 3900 to 3500 B.C. Starting at the beginning, both video and historically, this is a figurine of a man made from a hippo tusk in the pre-dynastic period. So this was before dynasts, and I guess before arms. Described as a male figure that radiates sexuality, which... I don't want to kink shame anyone, but I'm not seeing it. I guess beauty standards were different back in the BC times, before cosmopolitan, before catwalks. What I do like is this little hole in his hat so you can hang it up. That's business savvy. You could thread some pre-dynastic string through there and have him dangle off your sphinx. The contest for the bouquet, the family of Robert Gordon in their New York dinnying room 1866. So the first issue that kind of jumps out at you is where is Robert Gordon? It's his family and they're running amok. You might say, oh, he's the one behind the camera, but it's a painting, so you're more likely to say he's the one painting it. But it's actually painted by this Seymour Joseph guy. As for the actual painting, it might be the first illustrated promotion for contraception. You've got these three squabbling twat rats fighting over some trampled flowers. Grey Worm seems to be winning, but is about to be usurped by his own tiny blonde clone, utilising the forbidden technique of a chair. Meanwhile, Mum's off her tits on opium and is just done with life in general. The smallest sprat is gazing at the cabinet, perhaps thinking, When I grow up, I want to be... A sphere. <clears throat> a chrome featureless glow? With a tap. Oh, maybe it's booze. When she grows up, she wants to be an alcoholic. Oh, well, that's attainable life goals right there. Fragment of the marble steely, grave mortar, P-H-O-P-L-I-T, foot soldier, pende ikosi pende pende deka pende bisi. Also known as, didn't skip leg day, found in somebody's attic in Greece. Virgin and child with sing anna, proper play 1519. Oh, please let me go home. I've been awake for 96 hours straight. I think he's got my eyes. Please leave. From Sketchbook, James McNeil Whistler 1854 to 55. So this is some doodly shit from James McNeil Whistler's sketchbook, and he seems to have spent less time drawing it than he would have signing it. Although apparently it took him an entire year. I don't know, maybe it's meant to be minimalist or something. There is a random 50 up here. Also the shape kinda looks like a gravestone. Anyway, if I had to rate this, which I don't, I'd give it a 5 out of 1855. Actually, looking at the details, Jam Whistle was only 20 when he did this. Alright, maybe I'm being unfair then. I mean, when I was 20, I drew this. Antoine Laurent Lavoisier, 1743 à 1794, and Marie-Anne Lavoisier, Marie-Anne Pierrette Pauls, 1758 à 1836, 1788. He can't read all right, bless him. I can hear you, you know. Check out my fancy leggings and massive light bulb. Yes, well, I stole your grandfather's hair. You can't, I knew you looked familiar. <laughs> The Virgin with the long tie sitting with the Christ child. St. John the Baptist and St. Joseph 1518-1519. Presumably this is the titular virgin. It's a bold choice to point out your fuck-ups in the title of the thing. But I don't think it's freakishly long or anything. I think the Cherubi guys are making it look worse just by comparison. I also don't know what they're doing here. Maybe measuring her thigh? But they're pretty half assed about it. I don't know where the Christ child is. Hopefully not in the basket that this one's teabagging. I think you're definitely going to hell if you teabag the baby Jesus. John the Baptist here looking pretty impatient for a saint, but then someone does seem to have punched out his halo, so I can understand him having a bit of a narc on. He seems to be looking at... Oh, is that the Christ child? 
What's he doing back there, sneaky bugger? I guess trying to escape the MC Asher labyrinth they're all stuck in. I'm curious why John and Christchild are staring daggers at each other. Clearly some shit went down between them. Possibly involving Cameo Bull here. Unfortunately, we'll probably never know, but someone dropped their luggage tag here, so perhaps they're all just jet-lagged and irritable. What is polio and why are paintings immune? 